So what we're going to look at today are, is the wireless trigger system for the Einstein flash. So we've got this little pouch here. This one says Velo on it. We have some that say Photix also, but they're all pretty much the same. So what we're going to do is we've got a couple different pieces that we'll pull out. And so here's the, the system we've got. Um, one you'll see says transmitter. The other says receiver. The transmitter is the one that goes on your camera. The receiver is the one that goes on the flash. On the side of both of them, there's an on and off switch. You turn those on, and then you'll notice that on both of them, there are uh, channels, different channels here. So you can see on this one, there's number five. On this one, it's number five. They're both lit up. That's great. If you happen to grab one and it looks like this, that all of them are lit up, you just have to hit that all button. Um, but you just, all you have to make sure is that they're both on the same channel. So now, once we have maintained that they're on the same channel, what we can do is we can actually attach them to our devices. Again, that transmitter is going to go on your camera's hot shoe and the button panel is going to be facing towards you, not away from you. So I'm going to put this right on my hot shoe there, tighten it up so it doesn't fall off, and then I can see those buttons, right? They're facing me when I'm looking at the camera. Then to attach the receiver to the flash, there's no quick and easy way to do it right off the bat, what you actually have to do is use a, a, a cable here. So on the side of the receiver, there's a little hole right there that says flash, a little input. So we just plug in and then we come over to our flash, our Einstein, and you can see there's a sync port right there. Plug that in there. Then we can hang this wherever we want to. And then what we can do is once we get that set up to make sure that they're working, we just hit the test button right here. If the flash pops, we know they're working. If it doesn't, then for troubleshooting, there's two main things you can look at. Uh, three, actually, I guess. One of them are the batteries dead. Um, there's a little indicator light up here that'll flash green. If it's flashing red consistently, that means the batteries are dead or dying. Um, obviously, if they don't turn on at all, the batteries are dead. Another thing you can look at um, is that uh, you just want to make sure that they're on the same channel, right? So again, double check that they're both on the exact same channel. The third thing you can look at that's a little more rare is make sure they're both the same brand. So on these, you can see that they're both Photix Aries. But if one of these is Velo and one is Photix, they will not talk to each other. So they both have to be the exact same brand. So those are the few reasons why maybe it's not popping. Of course, the other one would be if your flash isn't on, things like that. Um, but this should be how it goes. Now, one word of caution with these, if you have your flash already on and then you plug it in, it's gonna pop the flash. Okay, so be, so be expecting that. Um, it's a, bit, a good idea to have the flash off, then plug it in, then turn your flash on, and then test it. Um, but if it does go off, it's no big deal, it's just static electricity. And that's it. Once you get done with these adapters, please always make sure to turn them off and store them properly in the storage case. And again, please make sure that you do not mix adapters. Don't put Photix and, and, and Velos together. Just Photix and Photix, Velo and Velo. That's it.